There she goes. Take your mask off so you can breathe. Hey, I like that. Okay, we're in this. We're in the belly of the beast here, the gift shop. Take a walk with me, folks. So you want to see what's in here? Oh, nice rocks. Large bag, six ninety-nine. Puka beads, right? Puka shells. I used to wear love beads. Same, same knives, same. No, we could use a couple. Well, I guess not. Oh, here he is. Oh, magnets. There we go. Oh, cool. Go on. Come on. Magnets. And magnets. Alright, let's come back here. Let's see. Pretty cool. Yeah. You can get anything you want. Oh, no pelicans, Robert. Sorry. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, the only one. <laughs> 12 bucks. No, for Robert. Oh, Robert. The only one. I'll have to think about that. For what reason? I don't know. It's over here. Artistic gifts. Huh? They come on commemorate Corona. Mad Max collection. Okay, you folks. Okay. Oh, rings, baby. Oh, we have to get a ring or two. Oh yeah, it's our anniversary today. There's all kinds of rings to buy. All right. See you guys. We'll be back. We may or may not go on a tour. It doesn't look like it's... But you never know. See ya. Okay, we left Ocean World. We didn't take the tour. It was like an hour long. And uh, we just left. So now, we're on the coastal scenic route. going along the coast long so I'm gonna take this off This is Point St. George. Upcroppings of rock. How'd you like that hyperspeed? If I, if I don't show it on this tape, look for it. I'll put them all together and just run it as a, as a single. Isn't that beautiful, man? Be nice to have a house out there. Ha! You're on a little private rock. See ya. Lost our veers. Dream big. Drive hard, road trip number 30. So this is Point George Trailhead parking lot. And it goes out there. Let's see what's so, down here. I really like to live there and have the people. It'd be beautiful, old wood structures. Oh, it's a church or? Yeah. It was way out there, so if you're so inclined to do the hiking, traveling Robert. <laughs> <gasps>
You look can hike up. Look at the white water out there. Yeah. Sure is a neat place. Sunny today. Usually it's very foggy. Anyway, this is the uh, Port George turnaround trailhead. See ya. Well, this is a pretty good perspective. We'll, we'll pixelate it. Oh Look at that. Goodness. This is a scenic drive. Yeah, a couple miles. Yeah! Oh, looky there, man. All right, see ya. Well, as plans would have it, we're gonna go up to Jedediah Redwood State Park. Is that Jedediah what's Smith. Jedediah Redwood Smith State Redwood State Park. We have three hours before our reservations for dinner, so. Let's go look at a couple of redwood trees. Although we're going to be coming back this exact route, but a much longer route going towards Grants Pass, Oregon. But in, that's tomorrow. For now, though, we're just going to go visit Jedediah. Yeah. This is the Avenue of the Giants of some sort. But these are some pretty big redwood trees. Cruise around. We're looking for the state park. I don't know how far up it is, but we'll, we'll be there shortly. Yes, and this. In the background, you'll hear some traveling Robert music, of course. Which we have permission to play. Right. Uh huh. Yeah, look at this. You go from the ocean to the giant redwood trees. Surprise, we're at bigger cities up here like this wouldn't be a place that society would want to expand maybe it's too cold too windy who knows too far out too scary too many bigfoots running around you never know wow this is just absolutely trees trees and big trees so the Jedediah Smith State Park is the highway going through and as you're driving through you'll find these different groves and different areas to walk. So we're just going to take a hike into Ruth Perry Hatton Grove. Let's go check it out. Beautiful ferns, Boston ferns, sword ferns. That's Boston fern there. This is sword fern here. Cool. These are giants. Absolute giants. More sword fern. Look at that one over there. We're going to be here tomorrow. It's a little trail. Let's go into this grove. Hiking through the deep, dark jungles of the redwood forest. I'm trying to navigate my trail so through. Wow. I'm going to go into this grove. Trailblazing. Trailblazing. Not one of my specialties, but... Wow. I think we found the home of Bigfoot right here. Huh? Whoa. Look at that. Just how long have these guys been here? Wow. Get back. Big trees and Bigfoot. Dinosaurs, perhaps, maybe. This is a remnant of the days of the giants, right? Yeah, everything grew big back then, for whatever reason. Maybe the Bigfoot is just us, you know, 50,000 years ago. Well, once you've seen one tree, you've seen them all. See ya. 
Spanish moss. Beautiful trees. What could this be? A birthing port being born again. No, it's a giant burnt out redwood tree. Wow, look at that. Look at the size of these puppies. I know you get bored after a while just looking at trees, but holy moly. Look at this one. Look at this one going all the way up. Look how many people have taken that path. There's the path going up there. I'm going to tell you a story real quick. Back in the day when I was 13 years old, my friend and I had his mother drop us off in Big Basin, California. We were going to camp a full week. Well, about after a day and a half, we ran out of food. And she wasn't going to come back. In those days, you didn't have cell phones. And we weren't going to call her and say, pick us up. So we camped out in a burnt out redwood tree. And then went around the campgrounds and just kind of scrounged food. Well, look at that back there, baby. Look at all that. And uh, one night, towards the end of our stay, we were sleeping. I heard this, like, a scratchy noise. I looked up, and right over my head was a rat that was about, I don't know, two feet coming down through the burnt out sections. And these redwood trees have to burn to reproduce. You don't understand that. They have to, redwood seeds have to be burnt in a forest fire for them to propagate. And that's why it's so important to have fires. Not good for humanity, but these trees need them. And so we were told. That's my story of the giant redwood trees. Oh man, look at this one back here, babe. Holy cow. Look at that one. That's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna put this on hyperspeed and just walk. mustn't forget all of nature's little critters on the flora spore creeping along creeping along to find a nice warm living space in your sleeping bag okay very interesting oh yeah and the, the bark of the road tree is almost fire resistant it burns a little bit but it gets inside and it will burn right up the heart of a redwood tree. And that's why you see so many hollowed out centers. Because right through the heart of here is the softest part of the tree. So the next stop back in town is the Del Nor County Historical Society Museum. We'll just go on up the ramp. Look at that. All right, let's go in. There we go again. Another casualty. Yeah. Another casualty to COVID. Aww. Yep, we're closed. We're getting new floors. Getting new floors. Oh, you would be open? We had to move everything out of there. All right, well, thank you. Where are you from? We're from uh, up by Truckee. We're locals. Oh, you know, yeah. we're just... It's our 37th anniversary, so we decided, let's go up and get a Chipino. All right, thank you. Well, that was a bus, so now we're looking for downtown, top word, to find a seedy, rustic bar. No. No, not a visitor from touristy stuff. No, no fancy, prancy, fancy, no. dancy yeah, breweries. We want a... A local bar. Who does? I we? do. All right. Well, the seediest place that we could find was closed. I didn't, we couldn't find a seedy bar in the whole town. So this is the place to come to. Sea Quake 
brewing. So let's go in here and see what they got. I have an IPA. This one's for you, Robert, of Traveling Robert. Let's go grab one here. Yes. Oh, wait. Right now we have a little bit of a wait for 10. To get in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no. I think I think we'll pass. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why wait ten minutes to have a beer? I just wanted to sit at the bar and have a quick one. You don't have a bar. You, you... No, we don't have a bar right now. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yes, no bar. Bye. Okay. Yeah, let me just let me just see what it looks like here. So this is it. Well, that whole big presentation about eating at uh, Al Visa and the cockroach falling through and that looked like the same building. Well, that's not the restaurant. This is the restaurant. Another lost RV moment. Holy cow. Let's go in. Well, there it is. And there she be. Right there. Let's go in. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What? what do you can't, you can't get it on this. Look at what he pulled up. Look at that. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, look at those babies. That's what I like right there. Wow. Tasty. <laughs> Salmon fishing. Oh. Salmon fishing. All right, let's go in. Oh, it's just a fast food restaurant. Oh, come on. We've been making these plans for a fucking a year, excuse me, a year, and we're gonna eat at a fast food restaurant? Oh my God. All the anticipation and preparation to find a place in this town to have a chipino. Oh, let me see your phone. And we come to a place that looks like a fast food restaurant. 900 miles round trip. And this is what I chose. All right, and of course, Cabernet, of course, my wife in her romantic mood gets a nice glass of ice water tap. Yeah, happy 37th anniversary to oh. us. <laughs> there it is. That is clam chowder and a crab louie. And this thing here is not what I was expecting at all for a chipino, but it's in a chipino in a bread bowl. But I was expecting a broth with clams, you know, and mussels in the shell. This says, this says crab. And of course, six raw oysters. <laughs> all right. Happy anniversary to us. Yeah.